And in Britain and the Commonwealth, this day includes a message from the monarch. While here at home, there wasn't a whisper from the White House. Just these posts. Here's CBS's Steve Futterman. Christmas 2022 around the world had a bit of the old and the new. At the British Royal Estate in Sandringham, there was both. The traditional royal walkabout, led by the new monarch. Also the future, Prince Louis joining the family Christmas celebration for the first time with George and Princess Charlotte looking so much like a younger version of her great-grandmother. Later, the broadcast of the King's speech. Christmas is a particularly poignant time for all of us who have lost loved ones. At the White House, the President and First Lady celebrated privately. They both sent holiday greetings to units from each branch of the military. The U.S. may no longer be officially engaged in any wars, but many American troops still spent the day far away from their families in places like an airbase in the United Emirates. Animals celebrate Christmas, too. In Des Moines, Iowa, this dog named Secret tugged her sled up the hill, then came down dozens of times. In Toronto, these Arctic wolves at a zoo enjoyed a white Christmas. <laughs> these people in Berlin went wild in the water with their traditional polar bear plunge. In Brazil, a Christmas with concern over a national treasure, soccer star Pele surrounded by loved ones as reports say his health is deteriorating from colon cancer. Pele. In the place where this all began, Bethlehem, the original spirit of Christmas took the spotlight back to what it was before the pandemic. In Rome, there were examples of the spirit of giving. Despite the frivolity, this is Christmas after all, and in many locations, it was a time to simply hope for peace on earth and goodwill toward all men. Steve Futterman, CBS News, Los Angeles.